today we are going to be classifying angles. We have some vocabulary. Today we're going to be using degrees, so we need to know what a degree is. So degree is the unit used to measure an angle. There are 360 degrees in a circle. So yesterday's lesson, we divided our circle into four parts. With degrees, it actually divides our circle into 360 parts. So if we wanted to, we could actually draw 360 little lines throughout our circle, and each one of those little tiny lines would be one degree. So if we have a circle that is 90 degrees, that would be 90 of those one degrees all put together. Our second vocabulary word we need to write down and know is what a right angle is. So a right angle is an angle that measures 90 degrees. Here's a picture of one. So basically it looks like our one-fourth term. We put this little square here instead of a little part of a circle, and that helps us know it's a right angle. So if you ever see that little square, you know it's going to be a 90 degree angle, which is called a right angle. And this would be the same as a one-fourth turn from yesterday's lesson. Our next vocabulary word is acute angle. So an acute angle is an angle that measures greater than zero degrees and less than 90 degrees. So if we have something right here that would be 90 degrees, it needs to be less than that, but it has to be more than zero. So here's one example of an acute angle. And off of yesterday's lesson, this would be something that is less than one-fourth of a turn. So anything that's less than that 90 degrees, and it still has to be more than zero. Our last vocabulary word is obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is an angle that measures greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. So if we have these four parts, kind of like our circles yesterday. This would need to be greater than 90, which was a fourth of a turn, but less than 180, which would be um, a half a turn. So here's one example of an obtuse angle. So anything that goes past that line straight up and down, but it's less than being a straight angle straight across. And using our turns from yesterday, an obtuse angle is going to be more than one-fourth of a turn, but less than one-half of a turn. Now that we have this vocabulary down, we have some example questions. So the instructions say, classify each angle as right, acute, or obtuse. So I have three angles here. I need to write if it's a right angle, an acute angle, or an obtuse angle. So this first angle, if I drew a little line for what 90 degrees was, this goes greater than 90 degrees, but it's less than 180. We know from our vocabulary that means it's an obtuse angle. Our middle angle here has a square here instead of a curve which helps us to know that that is a 90 degree angle or a right angle. And our last angle is really small. It's less than 90 degrees, so that means it's an acute angle. Or one way I remember is, since it's really small and little, it's a cute little angle. Because little things seem to be cute or something for some reason. Okay, second example. Measure the angle in degrees and as a fraction of a full turn. 
So we're going to give an answer like we would have yesterday based on the turns. Now we're going to add in the degrees. So here are some angles. We need to know the degrees and the turn. So I know the degrees for this one has that little square there, which tells me it's going to be 90 degrees. And the kind of turn is one-fourth of a turn. My second one over here, we need to once again know the degrees and the turn. So if it's straight across, that's 180 degrees. And the turn would be one half of a turn. Now I want you to do these next two. So I'll erase those ones, make some new ones. So I want you to pause this and to figure out the degrees and the turn for each of these two. And then unpause it, and these ones I'll show you the answers to see if you're getting them right. Okay, for our first one, that goes all the way around. So a circle has 360 degrees, and this goes around the whole circle. And it's a full turn. Our second one, since it has that little square part, it's 90 degrees and one-fourth of a turn. Okay, and one more for you to do that we'll, I'll show you on the video, and then you'll be ready to do some on your own. So this is like my first example. It says, classify each angle as right, acute, or obtuse. So here's the three angles. I want you to pause this, write down what you think, and then unpause it, and you'll see the answers. So this first one is right, the middle is obtuse, and the one on the right is acute. Now, I think you're ready to do some on your own, and I'll check them tomorrow. So here is number one and number two. So the instructions for these first two are to classify each angle as right, acute, or obtuse. Then number three and four, measure each angle in degrees and as a fraction of a full turn. When you're done with these four, bring them into class tomorrow. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and rewatch part of this, or you can always leave a comment below or send me an email and I can help you out. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow.